Hey guys, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of this. Now, this, I'm not sure what this is. I'm not even sure if it's Nerf and whether it's mine or not, but we're going to be doing an unboxing nevertheless because I have got something on order or possibly ordered um, for Nerf. So, I'm, this may just be the Rampage because I've ordered the Rampage and and this may just be it which it would be a miracle it was because they said it would be due this weekend it is the rampage The Nerf and Strike Elite Rampage. And I am extremely excited for this. So without further ado, I'm just going to unbox this thing really quick. And let's go. And by the way, this is the reason why I did not post a video this Saturday. Because this was coming. Plus I also had nothing to do. Right, bad boys coming out of them. So I think they just slip out. Got the 25 round drum here. I'm assuming it's going to be packaged exactly like the um, radar was. Five darts. Um, Magwell here. There's the Magwell. And got some instructions which I'll need to read because it was absolutely forever since I got my radar. And I'll just take my. sticker which goes over the magwell. I think this is how you install the magwell. Yes it is. So and here it is. The Magwell. I think it goes this way. Yes, it does. There you go. Yes. So this is a rampage. As per usual, they do one side which is absolutely amazing, and then one side which is just shit colouring. Um, this is completely a different feel to the Raider. For a while I've only had the Raider. Now I have the Rampage. I think this is now my favourite Nerf Blaster of all time. Right, so. Um, quick note, you can't prime it um, without the Magwell put in. This is amazing. I love this already. Um, so Xtel features, you've got the pump grip here, you have the barrel, two tactical rails, a shoulder stock. Note this does not come with the um, Raider shoulder stock. Um, got the grip here, standard size pistol grip, with a compartment for an extra dart. Got like a hand grip here, if you like minimised it I guess, you could have like a pistol here. And I don't know why, but like... I'm not, I'm not saying you should minimise this because I have no idea how I minimised it because there's primary mechanisms at the front. 
I think it's a really good way to stop people minimizing their Nerf guns, just put the pressure mechanism right at the front. Um, two tactical rails, I think I've already said that. Um, got the Magwell, which I, you saw me clip on. Um, and it's powered by a direct plunger as opposed to the Raider, which was powered by a reverse plunger. This drum is kind of like the 25 round drums that come with the um, bend down a little bit, come with the Rhino Fire, but this one apparently jams less, and I'm going to test that right now. So to load the load the um, darts in, just open this package. This comes with 25 darts, and the drum mag fits all of them. Jeez, they package this well. I think that's why. Take, yep, there we go. Last bit of tape off. And then this. The darts fall off. Or fall out, fall off. So, um... So this is all 25 darts I'm going to load in. And I really like this because like, it's the Raider but it's like, better. I think, hope. I hope this is going to go further than the Raider because I remember the Raider was like crap ranges compared to the Retaliator. And hopefully this just goes the same strength as the Retaliator and everyone knows that the Retaliator is like insane. This drum mag has got a little bit more pressure than the Rhino Fire mags but I have not experienced any jams yet. So to prime it to this pump panel back and forward and then you can pull the trigger. To insert the magazine you need to pull this back and take your magazine and put it in. To take out the magazine, this still needs to be back. Press this button on the back and then just pull the mag out. Also, to open a jam door, which I think they must improve, the actual thing needs to be back rather than forward because when I pull it forward, you can't open it. I'm gonna see if they've made an improvement where it's, um, you can open it if it's not primed. Oh my god, that's amazing. I know they haven't made the improvement where you open it and it, you can open it when it's not primed, but the slider isn't back. It also has slam fire, which where you just pump this and hold down the trigger and it just goes super fast. So I'll show you that now. So I'm a noob, I jammed it. This does not jam. I'm sorry, that was just my fault. I didn't prime it far enough. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, sugar. Wow. Their paint job's crap. I'm sorry enough, this is the worst painted Nerf gun I've seen you paint ever. Right, there's white scratches down there. I don't know whether you can see them or not, but there's white scratches there. And the rampage. What the fuck? <gasps> what the fuck? Who has, bro? What kind of a paint job is that? I don't know if that's just mine scratching the post, because we ordered, ordered so quickly, because. I ordered it practically last night. I love this. I'm not I that I before I wasn't sure when people were saying that this is the best Nerf gun ever. Um like on Nerf Stone on reviews, people were, and they were saying that this is the, um which should I get ultimate Nerf gun? I slightly disagree with that because I thought the radio got crap on and I couldn't see how they can make a good enough gun as this. This is amazing. I've got to, I've got to give it to 
A bomb that she has brown in the sloppy paint job, this is absolutely amazing. Plus now the new Better Blaster Miru grip shot. This is gonna be amazing. I I trust me guys, this this is an amazing gun. You should if any of you guys are watching that are big nerf collectors like me and do not have the this gun, get it. It's amazing. Oh by the way, I've got my total to 71 nerf guns. Finally I'm in the 70s. Next big number is a hundred. Come on guys, we must get a hundred nerf guns. Alright, okay, now I'm going to do the pros and cons for this gun, just to wrap things up. Pros, amazing range, amazing accuracy, sand fire, relatively big dark capacity, two tack rails and the shoulder stop attachment point. Cons, I would have liked it, take this out, I would have liked it. I'd have liked it to be formatted like this with the rear stock or any kind of really good stock and the 35 round drop. I think you should get the rear and the rampage because the rampage body and this and that will just destroy everyone. I mean, you got 35 shots here, and then that I doing 25. 10 less. This is. I don't really care about the drum size because I never use this much anyway. I that's like the biggest drum I'll use. This is my biggest gripes. In my opinion, this is the best nerf stop they've ever made, ever. For me, because I don't really like the thunderstorm stop. Do you know why? It's not collapsible because say I'm using it, I use it for out. Say that's the thunderstorm length, and someone in my team has just run out of ammo. I've got, um, or like lost their stock or something like that. Um, I can chuck them this gun, and they can extend that down, and they're like, in case they're small. Um, but with the thunderstorm stock, the lightning storm stock, so I get my super soaker stock up. Like, they can only have it this length and they might not be able to reach it. Yeah, they might not be able to reach the prime number. It was over here. The lightning storms. It was like the Raider. Or, so not the Raider. Ugh, the Retaliator. I think um, the lightning storms that was really good because it's like so small. You can do that. Anyway, let's not get off track here. I love this. This brings back this brings me back to when I was six or seven or five or however old I was and when I first got the Raider. I, I really love the Raider. And now I really love the Rampage. So. Just to go over what it comes with, one more time. 25 round drum. No stock. And a few darts. So 25 round drum, main body. Magwell, a few darts, all it comes with. As I think you could have you could have included a stock there. I don't really care what kind of stock. I don't really care whether it's a retaliator stock. Um, the rail stock would be the best. Um, just some kind of stock because this is, this is going to be like a sniper from now on. I, guys, believe me, this is going to be my sniper because I don't have fire. I know snipers aren't meant to do that, but who cares? My loadout, I can do whatever I want. So shut up. See you guys next time. Master Nerf Master Blaster out and very happy with this Nerf gun.